Welcome to the Dixie Bell Facebook page. My name is Shannon Stefanacci, and I am from Pick and Booth Vintage down in sunny Southwest Florida. And I am going to be painting with you today. Um, I have this beautiful dresser here, and we are going to redo this dresser. Now, I know you guys have all been hearing about the new paint by Dixie Bell. It is called Silk. It is a great paint um, that is very versatile, and I'm going to tell you all about it today, and we are going to finish this piece with the silk. Now, there are several talking points about the silk, and I will be covering those as I am painting this piece. Um, here are the original handles. I went ahead and took them off, and at after I get done painting the first cut of paint, I'm going to use the gilding wax to update these. So if you want to hear about the gilding wax, wait till the end of the video to watch how I do get to the gilding wax after I paint. Okay, so like any piece of furniture, you need to have it properly ready to go in order to get the best finish possible. Um, Dixie Bell, as you know, has the chalk mineral paint, which is a phenomenal paint. It's great for artists. You blend and mix and get a shabby look, distress it, use your water mist or all of that. Well, the silk is way different. It's a, um, it's a uh, resin acrylic water-based paint, but it's made to give you a clean cut, polished look without any distressing, just a beautiful finish paint and done basically. Well, after you get it set up to be painted. So, the first thing you need to do when you're doing a piece of furniture is you need to clean it with the white lining. The white lining will get all the junk residue and get it all off. Then, it's highly recommended that you scuff sand it. And it doesn't mean sand your whole piece down where you're getting rid of all this. Scuff sanding is you just take a piece of 220 grit sandpaper, you can get these from your local Dixie Bell retailer, little sponge you have something to grip on and just give it a light scuff with your sandpaper which allows the paint to adhere. If you do this with the white lining, scuff sand it, rinse it with a little bit of water, your piece will be ready to go. And that's what I have already done on this piece so you didn't have to watch me and be bored. <laughs> I've also did a little fixing here you notice you see this gray down here um, there was a piece of the veneer missing so I just replaced it with the Dixie mud by Dixie Bell I put it on I let it dry and I gave it a light sanding to make it smooth because the silk paint gives you a clean crisp polished look I want it to all be just perfect if I was using the chalk and mineral paint I would have just left it the way it was because it adds character to it but that is not the look that we are going for today. So the hardest part was picking out what color I was going to use because Dixie Bell, the silk comes in 20 beautiful colors. And this is the color that I'm going for today. It's called Cape Current. It's a gorgeous blue. And that is what we're going to be using. And I'm going to be using, where did I put it? My oval medium brush. Ah, here it is. Oval medium. The reason why I'm choosing my oval medium and not my mini is because there are some carvings in here and it needs to get be able to get in there and this one does it the best. The flat mini or the mini it is really good on flat surfaces but this one holds a lot of paint. It will get into the detail and give you a nice even look. Okay so as we're going I'm going to be talking to you about the, <clears throat> the key points about the silk and what makes it so special. Um, so, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so, um, the most important thing to remember is the silk is, is a water-based acrylic resin-based paint and you start with a dry brush. You don't want to wet it. You don't need your spray mister. You don't need any water. You just need a dry brush. Dip it in. And then you apply it. Woo! This is a bright, beautiful color. Wow! <laughs> I, 
was having a hard time choosing. The first color I was going to do was the Serenity, which is a nice, calm, warm uh, green. And then I was like, no, that's too warm. And let's go with something a little bit darker. So I was gonna go Black Sands, because it's like a nice, deep gray. And then I was like, oh, that's kind of, um, kind of boring, maybe just a little bit when you're gonna be painting live. So I went, of course, Cape Current because of the gorgeous blue color. But as you can see, look how nicely it goes on. So smooth. Isn't that beautiful? All your local retailers that ordered the silk paint should be getting it by, I would say the latest probably this week. We've been waiting for a while for this paint to come out, but I tell you what, definitely worth the wait. Okay, so while I'm painting, I'm gonna go ahead and do some talking points on it. Um, the paint has a built-in stain blocker primer. Has the paint, and then it has a built-in sealer, which is kind of like a one-and-done paint. Though you still need to do proper preparation of your piece. You need to make sure you get all the grease off, any dirt, all that. You want to make sure your piece is clean because if it's not, doesn't matter what paint you're using, it's not going to adhere. The silk paint comes in a 16 ounce container, and the paint does go a long way. I painted my silk display, which is a big hutch. It's behind me, you can't really see it, but I only used half of the jar with two coats, so it does go a long way. What I like about it, it already has the built-in sealer. So it's one less step you really need to do. It's water, grease, and mildew resistance, so it's perfect for outside, kitchen cabinets, or bathroom cabinets. Look how smooth. I recommend long, clean strokes. It's such a beautiful color. So I'm gonna get the bottom here. This paint also has no VOCs, which is good for your health, so you can do it, you can paint it inside. It does take a bit longer to dry. Generally takes about an hour to dry. Unless of course you're in an area where you have high humidity, then it can take a little bit longer. If you know anybody who's thinking about painting their kitchen cabinets or maybe their bathroom, you might want to share this video with them because this paint is perfect for that. I guess I should maybe turn this so you can see it. Now the silk paints, I know people have been asking, can you blend with it? Do you use your mister bottle? Um, if you want to do all that, the blending and the mister bottle and all that, we highly recommend that you use the chalk mineral paint. This is more for just a nice, clean, polished look. Not everybody likes a shabby chic farmhouse look where it's distressed. Some people just want to paint their furniture and simply to get a different color. Now what's nice about this is with the built-in sealer, after it cures, which it takes about 21 to 30 days to fully cure, it 
is um, high durability, so it's and you can wash it. There we go. Now let's do the other side, so you can see as I paint over the Dixie Belle mud. So I just repaired it with a little bit of the mud. I put it on with a spatula, and I just did this because I want it to be sleek and smooth like the rest of the piece. The mud comes in several different colors. I chose a darker color simply because I knew I was gonna use a darker color paint. Again, look how smooth that goes on. So what do you think of Cape Currents? It's kind of a, you know, bold color, but <laughs> may as well have some fun. So now I need to start thinking about what color gilding wax I'm going to use for the handles. I'm one of those that likes to use the original handles that come with the piece just to keep some kind of um, authenticity to the piece. A lot of people will change them out, which is fine. Um, I just like to keep the original handles with the original piece. It covers right over that Dixie mud. See that? When you apply the Dixie mud, you just use that spatula and you put it on. It might be a little bumpy, but once it's dry, you just simply use a 220 grit sandpaper and you sand it till it's smooth. This paint has really good coverage. I'm still going to put two coats on because it was a dark color. So I want to make sure I have full coverage. Let me turn this back around. Okay. Just making sure. Now, once you get your first coat on, it's very important to go back and look and see if you have any drips because you want to catch the drips when it's still wet. And I just simply use my finger and I kind of flatten it out. It's a lot easier to catch it when it's dry. I mean, when it's, when it's wet than when it's dry. A tip for if you get a drip when it's dry is I just simply take a razor blade and slice it up. I know that I've tried to um, use sandpaper and it takes forever. It's easier just to Take the razor blade, slice it off, and then just put some more paint over it. All right, so what do you think of the color? It's bold, right? Well, this piece is more, I think, on the masculine side. This would be perfect for a little boy's room. So um, I'm going to let this dry. And actually, I need to go back in. It looks like I missed a little bit of detail here. What's nice about this oval media brush is if you swirl it, get right into all that detail. I should have done that the first time I came through. All right. There we go. You want to make sure that you wait to the for the second coat so it's completely dry because otherwise you could be pushing the paint. You could actually the paint can pull off. So you want to make sure it's dry. Generally it takes about an hour to dry. Okay. Let's see. What else have I not covered? Um, one of the 16 ounce containers right here. This will cover 72 square feet. So it does go a long way. Um, it has UV protection, so it's great for outside. No additional sealers needed. It's already got the built-in sealer, which is, again, like I said earlier, grease, water, and mildew resistance. Resistant, which is huge, great. Um, let's see, da 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 da. Easily washable. Um, I think I pretty well covered everything about the silk. If you have any questions about the silk, you can throw it in the comments down here and we will answer them for you. Um, again, real quick, clean your piece with white lightning. Give it a scuff sand, which is just a light sand, just to create a little bit of um, scuff on it so the paint adheres. And then I rinse it, get all the 
residue from the white lighting off and the scuff sanding dust off. So then I get a light rinse, let it dry, and then you're ready to paint. Now keep in mind, this does have a built-in primer, but it's a stain blocker. If it is laminate, glass, um, marble, whatever, that's shiny like a factory finish, you do still need to use slick stick, which is very important. So keep that in mind. Just because it says built-in primer, it means it's a stain blocker primer. You need to use slick stick if it's glass, laminate, or anything that's a shiny surface. Always go the extra step just in case because there's nothing more frustrating than doing a beautiful piece and then it just coming off. All right, so again, this takes 21 to 30 days to cure and then it's good to go. See any drip? I'm just gonna take my finger and lightly put it over there. See how much easier it is to take a drip like that with just your finger, smooth it out? Because if that dries with a drip, it's way harder to deal with when it's dry. So make sure you get those drips when it's still wet. All right, let's talk about the gilding wax real quick. Okay, so these are the handles that came on it. I'm gonna come a little closer to the camera for this. Move the paint out of the way so I don't spill it. Okay, so these are the handles pretty, but they're kind of dark and there's not really a lot of detail on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've decided I'm going to use the bronze, the new gilding wax. They come in these containers they are, you get more for your money than what you used to get. And these are just absolutely phenomenal. They come in, let's see, I have them behind me. They come in six colors, black, zinc, silver, gold, copper, and bronze. And then they also have some fun chameleon waxes, which are lilac, cactus, and apricot, which will change like a chameleon. Those are fun. But we're going to do bronze. So I like to use my finger because I have more control with my finger. You can also use an orange brush. If you want full coverage, definitely use a brush. But I don't, so I'm just going to dip my finger in, and I'm going to lightly... I'm not looking for a drastic change. I'm looking for just a little bit of a highlight. If I were to put the gold on here, that would be really, really bright with this blue. And that's not the look I'm going for on this piece. So. So let me show you before and an after. So this is the before. And here is the after. See, it's just, a, let me put this down so it looks the same. It's just a slight difference, but just that small difference makes a huge impact on a piece when you're doing it, when you're painting it and redoing it. Can you mix two different colors of gilding wax? Absolutely. You might want to put a base coat of the bronze on and then maybe highlight a few parts with the gold. Okay, so I'm going to do another piece just to show you. I'm going to do one more using the, the new bronze gilding wax and here is my handle coming up close using my finger whoops here we go and I'm just going to lightly dust it on again like I said this is not going to give a huge change just subtle because that's all I'm looking for if I wanted a huge change, I would have put silver or bright gold on it, but I just want to put just a little bit on there. So again, the before and the after. There we go, that's better. Very, very subtle. But it'll be just enough on the piece. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing the after, because I still need to put on one more coat, but after one more coat of paint, I'm done because it has a built-in sealer, which is huge. Not everybody wants to blend, mix, and they sometimes just want to paint it and be done. And that is what the silk will allow you to do. And it will give you a nice, clean, crisp, polished look. It'll be beautiful. Great for cabinets, great for bathroom cabinets. Um, what else? Um, 
I think I covered everything about the silk. I'm sure I'm sure I probably missed something, but you can ask in the comments. There will be other Dixie Belle retailers uh, painting on this page, and I'm sure they'll be able to help and answer questions. And um, it's just a very exciting product because they are so different. So depending on what kind of painter you are or what your piece requires, you have those tools now at your hand, which is awesome. And um, what else? Uh, I guess that's probably about it. I will be back here next Monday at 12 o'clock also. So if you want to see something else fun painted, join us. And you guys have a rest of a fabulous day, and we'll see you soon. All right, take care.